of the my Suzuki Jixxer K4 600. I did um, did a review of my old Triumph and uh, ah, bastards. And it seemed to uh, you know help a few people. So I figured I'd do one on the uh, on my Jixxer, which is a little bit a little bit dirty. But um, yeah, and obviously these are only you know these are my, this is my opinion. It's no one else's. Just uh, just what I think. I'm not sure how much you can see because I've got my hump on my back and uh, my rucksack. That's pushing my lid down. So you can probably see a lot more. A lot more of the uh, bike than you can road. But, um, yeah, like all, all around, you know, I've had this bike probably a year, I would have said, maybe just over a year. And uh, so far, so good, you know, it's not, it's not caused me any troubles. You know, at the moment, actually, <laughs> the headlight has stopped working. Changed the bulbs, not the bulbs, so I'm using my high beam, which you can see, uh, just to be safe. Uh, any other problems? Um, I did have it remapped. It was just a bit lumpy where it's got a stubby exhaust. That's why it sounds so bloody noisy. But other than that, just sort of your general bits and pieces like tyres, uh, brake pads, which I'm just off at the moment to go and get myself some copper grease because uh, I'm going to be changing my pads tonight. I don't know if you can hear how loud it is. But, on a whole, this bike is massively responsive. But my Triumph was nice to ride, even though it was a fucking nightmare bike with all the engine problems. But when you ride this bike, you know, you do feel like you're riding a race bike. You know, it feels like you want to give it the welly all the time. And God, the sound that comes out of the thing. Take fairly easy because my back brakes are fairly like non-existent. Um, I would say, like I do, uh, Hertfordshire to Central London every day, and um, probably cost me 15 quid petrol. That should you know normally sees me through the week. That's a full tank. Um, you know, whether it's cold or not, this bike starts lovely, starts like a dream. Now nah, it's been remapped, it, you know, it pulls away like a dream. It pulls like a, like a flipping train, actually. Yeah, on the whole, this is a good bike. You know, and, uh, it's quick on the throttle. You know, I don't, I don't go down to my knee. I'm not, you know, I'm not like that. But um, yeah, it's good. All right. But yeah, like it does like to, it does like to race. Not that I do. The only real issue I get with this bike is because it's a super sport, it wants to uh, make me lean over it, which I don't want to do because <laughs> I'm getting on now. And I find that it takes me like 40 minutes into London, 40 minutes home. Anything more than that. I'll be uh, moaning about my uh, wrists. Get a bit of pins and needles in my hands because it does it does make me lean over. But 
but you know the general pull away on this thing is very responsive I've owned, and I've had, I've had a few, you know, I've had um, GPZ 500, uh, Triumph Daytona, uh, CBR 600, like an old one, that was like a 98 or something like that, but that was really nice. You know, this is, this is uh, definitely up there, you know, one of my favourites. I was very dubious when I bought it because I wasn't keen on the colour, but generally I get a lot of people saying they like it. I'm still not quite sold on it, but you know, it seems to be a bike that people like. You know, and I do like it. It, 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 it rides well. Looks nice. Do you know? It has the odd like nick here and. What are you fucking doing, you idiot? Fucking idiots, man. I pull out slowly, but yeah, so it's like a little nick and scratch here and that, nothing, you know, nothing too major, it's still, still a nice looking bike. Yeah. Uh, generally, a good all-rounder, good commuter. Alright, maybe not an all-rounder because I'm personally not enjoying long journeys, so... I was meant to be doing uh, Cornwall, sort of later this year, but... We've called it off, not, you know, not for any main reason, just we're massively busy with work. So I'm quite relieved. But my personal opinion, you know, if you're looking to get... Oh, if you're looking... Because I, I know when I bought this, I was looking between this and an R6. And I saw the reviews and the R6 was meant to be, you know, head down, arse up constantly. Just like a massive sort of constant racing machine. And this one was meant to be not. So that's why I went for this. But, yeah. Nice bike, you know. I would uh, I would definitely recommend. You know, Suzuki have good engines. Parts are quite easy to come by. But yeah, guess the thumbs up, and uh, I shall show you how this bike looks and sounds. And obviously, you know, you can tell me what you think about the Jixxers in the comment uh, in the comments you know maybe you don't agree but like I say all these are my own personal views so if you don't agree tough so here we go this is my K4, uh, K4 Jixxer it's got a custom fairing on it it's got a nice little sticker there, but um, it's got a custom fairing. This is how I bought it. Bit dirty. Well, I did actually. I added a bit of the carbon fibre. I have put lights on the intakes, but I just haven't got around to wiring up. It's got the uh, uh, aftermarket exhaust on it which sounds the nuts and like it's loud but that's a good thing because obviously I want to be seen and heard you know I want people to hear it let's give you a little blast that is loud I would I, I, I'm gutted that I actually miss out on that but I hear my friends bikes but I get engine noise coming out of the top. I don't get the uh, 
exhaust noise coming out of the back. But it gargles and pops like a beast. But yeah, so anyway, so that is my review of the K4 Jigsaw. And, you know, if this helps you make up your mind on what you want, then good. So, ride safe, take care.